hello friends in this video I will show you the analysis of the sex threat when the sex threat will come what is the calculation of the J value and shift value of the sex threat in NMR so this is a typical example of the one nitropropane now you are saying in this spectra three type of proton they have different chemical shift but sometimes they have j value same j value so that will appear at a sex state now which proton is appearing as a sex state if they don't have same j value then how many signal you will expect from this compound so when this is in methyl group n plus one rule apply here so this is a triplet this one is a triplet so this proton also got a triplet this one this is the impurity in this case so what about this proton if they have different j value you will expect a possible 12 peak in this spectra like how 12 peaks this proton ch3 methyl group split into this proton 4 line then again 4 line is split by these 2 proton into 3 4 into 3 is equal to 12 so here is written 12 predicted lines but if the j value are same although the chemical shift are different but sometimes it happens j value is same then you get n plus 1 rule apply here so if j value is same how you apply n plus 1 rule so 3 plus 2 5 5 proton all j value are same 5 plus 1 so 6 lines So this is a Pascal triangle and intensity here written how you can set a Pascal triangle like how you build like 111 outside here 111 outside here the center is the addition of internal components like 1 plus 2 3 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 3 plus 3 6 3 plus 1 4 then far sex state you have expecting this type of intensity 1 is to 5 into 10 is to 10 is to 5 is to 1 so here number is neighborhood proton is 5 you have n plus 1 simply apply and sex state of 1 is to 5 10 10 5 1 so just just, just this is a screenshot of the Pascal triangle I will give the exam more example this is a also alkene here is CH2 is a, sometime is misprint here CH2 so B proton is expecting the 6 signal CH2 here act here for interruption so this is a G proton so all J value are same like CH3 to this couple having same value this CH2 coupled to this then you can apply n plus 1 rule here otherwise you cannot apply n plus 1 rule if they have different j value so this methyl group split by this CH2 proton into triplet this and this is a sextet signal here and this is also a complex and you will see d here now this proton is split by triplet then again this is long range coupling c proton by then then this is a called a triplet of doublet so i will discuss coming lesson this type of the spectra also observed with the ddd type of system so that's a different case as a different example here ch2 is split into three then split by this hydrogen 
sometime you will observe this type of signal you will get some different coupling constant like here maybe 7.1 here 7.3 this may be due to the experimental error that's why you will get sometime different j value but you must match this j values with other protons so this j value calculating from this signal must be matched with this one and calculation of j value from this should be matched with b because they are coupling each others right so it's not like reporting 6.9 here 7.2 7.5 you have to match the j value sometime you will get different j value in experimental errors j2 so the what is the j value so all the peaks are good separation so you can take any peak then i again repeat this this j value should be matched with other signals j values not like report single j value just taking this if they don't match just skip this j value take the separation between these two and calculate the j value so matching is uh, so you should not confuse with the d d d d type of system with the, this is x data you can also observe when you have this type of 5 d d d d you can also get sex that it's not easy when they have different j value or identical j value then you can also get this type of spectra in this system so if you not share about the how www is confused with the triplet just click on a bubble link you will direct it to lesson where you learn ddd system give the apparent triplet that's a bubble link so for short form of sex rate sext one hydrogen j italicized and now how you report the chemical shift just like this so this is a real example i took a, a spectra from a journal supplementary information so the chemical shift is the average of the multiple either you can say click on this one click on this one take the value and average it or you can take a average of two center peak so here they have 2725 so average is approximately 3.26 and sex state now j value is i took this one j value 2.37 2.19 why author took this two not this one maybe they will get 6.91 7.1 which is not agree with other peaks so you should report the j value which is agree with other peaks so 7.2 will agree with other proton coupling to the other proton so they are putting like nmr like this uh, so you can see here 3.27 sex is 7.2 you will see other peaks also 7.2 7.2 seven point so so if you take this two maybe you get seven point one but you have to take care of the j value of also other peaks so click on this click on this calculate this one seven point two this is a four hundred megahertz spectra that's why multiply over four hundred sometimes I have spectra which have three hundred megahertz sometimes also I have spectra on five megahertz then according to that you can multiply this you can take any difference but take care sometime it has experimental error so match with other peaks now what is next i have made the series of the singlet doublet triplet content then i will also made a series of doublet apparent triplet i will make it double of doublet of doublet td and quarter of doublet and ddd there is some method to calculate the j value in this type of complex system so please like and subscribe my channel thanks